Today we're going to take a look at estimating a sum and finding the exact sum when we're adding mixed numbers. To estimate a sum, we're going to round to the nearest whole number. And to decide how to round, we're going to look at the fractions. If the fraction is less than one half, like one six, the denominator is six, to decide where half is, I need to think, what is half of six? Well, that would be three. And since this is one, one is less than three, and so this fraction is less than one half. When the fraction is less than one half, we're going to leave the whole number alone. This is like let it rest. <coughs> when we were doing whole numbers, the rule was five or above, give it a shove. If you remember, we chose five because our number is a base 10 number system, and five is half of that. And so this time, we really are looking for half of the denominator. And again, one is less than half of six, because that was three. And so this, we will leave the whole number alone. So I'm estimating this to just one. If the fraction is more than one half, this is where we would round up or give it a shove, is what we said when we were doing whole numbers. So we'll round up to the next whole number. This one's a little bit more tricky because the denominator is odd. The denominator is three. What's half of three? Well, it's one and a half. And two is more than one and a half. So this fraction will shove this one up to the next whole number, which of course is two. And then we'll add one plus two, which is three. To find the exact sum, we have three steps. First, we need a common denominator. If you look at the original problem, I have a denominator of 6 and a denominator of 3. That's not a common denominator. These are unlike or uncommon. And so if you remember our strategy, can the smaller denominator make the larger denominator? In this case, the answer is yes. So I've picked a denominator of 6 to be the common denominator. Now, it says add the fractions, but I need to fill in these numerators. This denominator was 6, so it stayed 6. And so my numerator was 1, it will stay 1. This fraction, though, the denominator changed, went from 3 to 2. 3 times 2 makes 6, and so I need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well, and 2 times 2 is 4. So now I'm ready to add the fractions, which is when we add the numerators. So 1 plus 4 is 5. Denominator stays the same. And then I'm ready to do step 2, add the whole numbers. 1 plus 1 is 2. Always the last step when we're working with fractions or mixed numbers, simplify if possible. Whole numbers don't get simplified, so I'm looking here at the fraction. Five, six. If you remember, I said whenever the numbers are consecutive, meaning side-by-side -side numbers, five, six, we would say when we were counting, this fraction is already in simplest form, so I don't need to simplify it anymore. I would like for you to solve these two problems in your math journal. I want you to do two things, though. First, I want you to estimate. Use that half or above or less. Look at those and see and decide should you leave the whole number alone or round it up. Find an estimate for these, and then I want you to find the exact sum. Do these in your math journal. 